Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and for those of you who aren't familiar with this channel or me, uh, I'm an inshore fishing guide here on the uh, Treasure Coast of Florida and I do these informational videos and today we're going to talk about the best jig heads for my Fab Five fish that I like to catch and most people like to catch. Snook, tarpon, redfish, trout, flounder. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and cover here is just show you, you don't need a lot. You just need a few different weights and a few different shank size on your jigs. So here I can't see, so I got to figure out what I'm grabbing here. Okay. For the most part, you can fish all day, every day with a quarter ounce jig head. I mean an eighth ounce jig head. Sorry. I'm looking at the thing. <laughs> eighth ounce jig head. So you're going to want something that's a small shank, like this. This is a 3 16 but uh, I just want to show you the difference between a uh, uh, long shank and a short shank. Or you have a long shank, like this. And like I said, most of the time you're going to be fishing with 1 8 ounce. Uh, this is 3 16 uh, Every now and again, you're going to have to go a little deeper for fish. That's a quarter ounce long shank like that. And that's just to get you down further in the uh, water column. Uh, God, I guess this is about the heaviest one I ever fish. And this is, uh, this is a 3 8 ounce. So sure, if you're fishing in some sort of an inlet somewhere uh, for snook against some of the pilings and stuff, you might need a half ounce if you're gonna be fishing your jig fishing around there. But for the most part, that's what you need. You need long shank, short shank, and then you need basically three different weights. Uh, you're probably also going to want something like this. This is just a weedless. These are cheap. I, I buy them in the uh, Bass Pro Shop in the Bass part. So you want a worm hook. So you just rig something weedless if you're skipping up underneath docks and things like that. Uh, that's really all you need. This is a 5 aught. And this goes really well with one of my favorite baits for skipping like that, which is the five and a half inch um, jerk baits that DOA has. So these things, they skip really well. They do a really good job. Uh, something dark, something light. That's really all you need. Uh, that's a that's a great, great uh, hook to have on there. Uh, if you want to do something like that, that's just a slow type of retrieve. It's just going to flutter down in the water when you're fishing like that. Perfect. Perfect for that. If you're fishing something really small, see that's a, a three inch uh, swimming mullet from Gulp. Great bait, by the way. It catches just about everything. Probably the best flounder catcher there is. Uh, so, something like that, you're obviously going to need the uh, short shank version of your jig and then depending on what how deep the water is you'll know how deep to go so if you were fishing for flounder you know you're gonna have to bounce it off the bottom to do the best best for you you know a little slow presentation but if it's snook or or redfish or something like that faster retrieve might work more of a more of an erratic retrieve higher in the water column you know so you, you really you have to key in what you're doing I'm just showing you the tools. So there's different techniques for all these things, but your basic tools that you need are those jigs I showed you. Long shank, short shank, three different sizes, probably eighth ounce, three sixteenths, and one quarter. You're good to go. You, that's 99% of the fishing you're gonna do unless you fish in heavy current, deep water, around inlets or, or deep bridges, pilings, something like that. Another question I get asked a lot, is color, color of the jig. I don't think it matters, I, I just don't. You know, I, I, I buy whatever's there, whatever's on sale. I usually pick red, I don't know why I pick red, but I pick red. Uh, most of these Z-mans, they're, they're all just uh, the lead color, just the color of the lead, works just as well. So, I guess what I'm saying is the color doesn't really seem to matter very much, in my opinion, uh, for, for these certain fish that are out there, it's it's the lure that you're using the color. But you definitely have to get your weights and shank size correct to maximize your fish that you're catching. 
So I think I covered what I wanted to cover on that. Just your basic jig head sizes and links and colors. Yeah, yeah, so I think I'm done. Hope that helps. I hope it helps you catch a lot more fish. And thanks for watching.